This video tutorial is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of some typical question styles that you'll be encountering while taking a CAP-style numerical reasoning psychometric test. The following questions are from our free CAP-style numerical reasoning test, which you can take before or following this video, if you so choose. Let's take a look at our question. Take a cursory glance at the graph and tables. We can see that there are two airports being considered, Glasgow and Edinburgh. There is a combination of flight times, whether they come from Glasgow or Edinburgh, and fares for the flights. The question contains many variables. Let's go through it once before attempting to break it down. A party of four adults who shall fly Edinburgh to Isle of Man and back have decided to take up a promotional offer of 80% off their return flights and invited one friend along with them. How much of the cost of their airfare has been saved by taking up the offer despite paying for an extra person expressed as a percentage of the original fare? What we are being asked here is the cost difference between two scenarios. The first is four adults flying from Edinburgh to the Isle of Man and back. The second is five adults flying from Edinburgh to the Isle of Man and back with an 80% reduction on the return fare only. To calculate the scenarios, we require the fare price for Edinburgh to the Isle of Man, which can be discovered using the green colour scheme indicating Edinburgh and the Isle of Man. The fare is £80 each way. Therefore, a round journey will cost £160. Thus, for four adults, the first scenario will cost £640. The second scenario needs a little more calculation. The outbound flights for five adults, 5 multiplied by 80 equals 400. However, the return flights are the same price reduced by 80%, so 400 times 0 0.2 equals £80, and together they total £480. Now that we have the costs of the two scenarios, we can easily calculate the difference from the two. 640 minus 480 equals 160. Lastly, it needs to be expressed as a percentage of the first scenario, which, as we've already found out, is 640. Therefore, our difference, 160, divided by 640, multiplied by 100 to convert to a percentage, equals 25, or 25%. 25 and that is our answer. At first, it may have seemed a very complex question, but once broken down, you'll hopefully see that it can be surprisingly straightforward. <laughs> 